This is Afterlife. My name is Push Lem, and welcome to Afterlife Season 2, Episode 5. This is the final episode of Season 2, and I gotta say, this video turned out a lot more intense than I thought it would. The red team builds up, teams are broken, and every single one of us has a bloodlust. Make sure to watch to the end of the video to find out what happens on this episode of Afterlife. I started off like a normal, bringing the dogs, getting emeralds for the villagers, and you know, wandering around the place waiting for Cheetar to show up. However, when I got back to the base, I found a wild CWG who was at our base for some reason, and I did not trust that man whatsoever. So I mined through the back, and what do you know? If I would have broken through the front, I would have been dead as a doornail. A little while after that, Cheetar showed up, and the bounty hunter was rolled. Oh, 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 three, two, one, you are. We pray. Oh, oh my god. Not the matter. I'm what? so, I'm are you, so sad. Are you the bounty hunter or are you not? No, I would be happy. Okay. Lucky for Link, I wasn't the bounty hunter, and neither was Gitar. Gitar got back from the nether, which I don't even know why he was there. But anyway, Gitar got back and he stocked up to make sure we wouldn't be killed by any of the red team. We then traveled to the Winterfell Castle to see what the red team had been up to. And sure enough, just like last season, the Chaos team had made TNT dupers to rip a hole through Winterfell's base. Gitar and I did sneak around for quite a while and even found that they made it their own creeper farm. Which, not gonna lie, it was kind of cool, but then Vera just saw us and we had a little chat. Let's see what was going on. While we were all talking to the Winterfells, I decided to put down a sign in front of the gravel trap from last episode. And, well, let's just say I almost had a heart attack here. No freaking way. After all of that, we kind of got bored and left. However, on our way out, I looked to the left and I saw the entire red team coming into Winterfell from the side. We decided to sneak around and see what would go happen. We started off by just looking through a small peephole until a fight broke out with Code taking the first strike on CWG. Then while they were fighting, somehow Rob had died, Star killed Ellie, then Code died from CWG while trying to run away, and CWG thought someone was still after him and he died to fall damage. After all of that, the only one on the red team remaining was Fuzzy. And we thought it was over. CWG was already celebrating, but little did he know Fuzzy was out for blood. And not gonna lie, after that fight, Star kinda looked happy she was red. After this though, Star told everyone that she was in fact the bounty hunter, which meant she was cured when she killed Ellie, but she still had a bloodlust. Regardless, Code from the Grave demanded more death, and after a little bit of talking, we decided, I mean, <coughs> some great power above, <coughs> Code, <coughs> started another role of the bounty hunter, and well... Right, I am. Oh, three. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 Let's see. Let's see. What? What the, uh, uh, Do we have to say it out loud or? <laughs> There's a creeper near you and as soon as I saw that text, I felt self-aware of every little thing in my body. The blood coursing through my veins. I thought about who I wanted to kill, someone that the red team could use. I asked Fuzzy, he said kill Sir Cat, and that is just what I did. I splashed my potions ready for a big fight against her, and she didn't even fight back. That kind of ruined the mood, but you know, I got my kill and the red team was back. The red team then looked for the corner crew's base, looking for Peeport because they wanted to get him dead as well. However, they found Link instead and decided he was as good a kill as any. So CBG, with no hesitation, went up to go kill Link, then for making him a part of the red team. At this point, all of the red teams kind of looked towards us. It would be a 6v2. And honestly, I was more confident than I should have been. We talked for a little, and during this time, CWG started placing TNT below the base, and he told no one. A little later after that, he hit me with a bow, and I knew it was time. I splashed potions on myself and Gitar, and I purled down to hit him, so that I could maybe catch him off guard, but it was too late. He got a lever down and activated all of the TNT below him. As the TNT was exploding, I luckily killed him and got away. However, CWG told no one else about the trap, and he killed not only himself, but also Viridis, Link, and Sturcat. And funny enough, Gitar and I were left without a scratch. Now there was only four people left. Myself, Gitar, Peeporp, 
and star. And we decided, <coughs> I mean, uh, 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 sorry, there's something stuck in my throat. Someone else decided from above we needed something to make us fight. So, uh, whoever it was, that anyone can fight anyone. And the border would slowly inch in until there was only one person remaining. I went back to my base, and while I was preparing, I remembered the secret prophecy of the swamp. And if I do recall correctly, it said... <clears throat> there is a special one, a special one with brown hair and blue clothes that knows of the secret location of the legendary golden apple. The golden apple is not like any other regular golden apple. This golden apple had the ability to give the special one an extra life once eaten. I felt something deep inside me, and I felt the urge to dig straight down. And sure enough, when I did, I found a chest. A chest in which had the extra life within. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry guys, I can't do this anymore. I made it earlier and I left it in the chest so if I died, it wouldn't be gone forever. But then I didn't seem as cool, so... I grabbed the apple and stuffed it deep into my inventory for a later fight. I then got my dogs to come with me. Then I started to head towards the middle of the map. And in doing so, I got Jitar kind of lost because I kind of outnavigated to him. And that is when people have told the server its cords and said, come get me. And to be honest, when I saw that, I was kind of out for blood. But what ended up happening was kind of shocking. Why, hello there. Oh my god. What's up? Uh, you know, What's uh, up? just chilling. Yeah, you know, just chilling. We could fight. We could. Or, or we could go kill Star. Well, Star has one life. I feel bad for her. <laughs> Get Jitar. Yeah. Like, I, I'd actually be down for that. I He's got, of, like, went after Jitar, but he kind of figured out our plans really quickly and started running. Then later, while P Porp was chasing him, and while I was trying to cut him off from a different angle, Jitar had used a respawn anchor, and it instantly killed P Porp, turning it back into a 1v1. But even then, Jitar sadly got away. I was looking all over for him when I ran into Star, who had a rocket launcher, which, if you don't know, those things are overpowered. But lucky for me, I got close enough that I was able to kill her. Now, it really was a 1v1, and I won't mess around with these, I'll just let them play out for you guys. Very fun times. You missed. You messed up. Forgot. Come back here. Oh, I got him. There's one. Oh, oh, that was really smart. That was really smart. Seems like your dog's crying. You should probably come back. Oh, the god apple, eh? Did you pop it off? Yeah, no. you did. Okay. Well, I'm gone with the wind. Oh, going totem. Lem, not smart for you to stand there. Wait, you have regen. Oh, you have resistance. Oh, wait. You're like one health. was on my final life, and Jitar still had two more lives left. However, as you know, the prophecy had come true, so I ate the apple, giving me another life. So at that point, it was all tied up. I'll let the last few fights play out for you all. Hope you enjoy. Oh, thank you. I also got strength. <laughs> thank you, Lem. Very, very um, nice of you. Yeah. I know that that got you scared.
bro, your dog. <laughs> side of the explosion <laughs> well, I don't know why you keep using a sword no. oh. G Close. G to G tar well yes I did sadly die there was a lot that happened in this season with friends and many who I would call family I was sad that I died but I'm glad we all had fun in the end anyway I'll play the rest of the players reactions because honestly this was just an amazing moment really be you know like keeping his streak going oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. it's only two and I yeah, think Lem legit just let me win. That was a pretty epic <laughs> fight battle. Yeah, that, that was, was so that good. That was yeah. epic. <laughs> that was so that good. That was pretty epic. GG, guys. Can they be banned from having diamonds we'll, and stuff? We'll see you when <laughs> it goes you together. I, I really want to know. Oh, 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 you know. Oh, oh, now it truly oh, is oh, afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> Roll yeah. the credits, roll the credits, roll that's the credits. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What yeah. everyone? We'll see you next time! Yay! Yeah. 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 With the clap! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> that's all for season two, and we'll see you in season three!